What's up, family? It's your brother from the same original mother, Mr. X King Leon. Next, I'm in New Brunswick, New Jersey right now at Rutgers University. I'm standing on the Queens College uh, campus right now, right outside there at Barnes & Noble. But I made this video real quick since I'm outside Barnes & Noble. I was just thinking, like, wow. Uh, Barnes and Noble bookstore. I remember Borders books. I think they went out of business. I'm like, how does a bookstore go out of business, right? I remember like, I like to go to like thrift stores and like Goodwills and stuff like that. And then you wouldn't believe all the valuable information that's on these bookshelves for like 50 cent. I mean, like a dollar uh, at, at Goodwill, paperback is a dollar, hardcover is a dollar fifty. You feel me? So that's like damn crazy. So, man, I, I I even got a couple autographs. Um, books and it's like so many books so 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 many books uh, so much valuable information um, contained in these words and I know I don't know if you guys ever heard but that's what they used to say back in the day if you want to hide something from a black person put it in a book you want to hide something from a black man put it in a book and I, I shit I didn't even read I didn't even really read books my whole life I didn't read books till after college I was corporate and then I got exposed to some information that changed my life. He said they put the, all the valuable things on the higher shelves, so they're out of reach for most people. Right. So if we want the things on the higher shelves, we have to stand on the books that we read. Each book that we read, we get a little higher. Right. And when I heard that, I was like, that makes so much sense. But um, actually, before that though, I was introduced to audio books. My cousin Dominica, she put me on. She was like, let me see your phone. She put Think and Grow Rich audio book this one and two on my phone and when I first started listening to it I thought it was boring I was just like what is this you know what I mean it's like I guess what he's saying is, but I didn't have the appetite for that information but that's what dropped the seeds next thing you know the new company I, I, I started working with all they did was like read books they read books every day in the office in the meeting and shit like that like boom 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 and I was like damn I started listening to what the words they were being saying and they were resonating with me. And then I went back and read the Think and Grow Rich after I listened to the audio book. And then now, since then, that was probably like 2012. Since then, I probably listened to like a couple of thousand, like a thousand something audio books and read uh, hundreds. You know what I mean? Crazy. Crazy. Right? How I was, I was 22 before I read like a, a book. Like, uh, you know, cover to cover, you know what I mean? Like, shit, I got through school cheating. Like, one of my teachers told me in school, in 10th grade, he was just like, yo, it's better to cheat than repeat. That's what he told the class. That's what he told us. That's what he told us. It's better to cheat than repeat. So, people used to do my homework and shit like that at school. Like, I used to, oh, you did the homework? All right, let me see it. Copy that. Or, you know? That's how, that's how, you know, my high school and then even in college, we would just already have the tests and all that other shit. So. So I didn't really have to read. I wasn't really forced to read these books and shit like that. You know what I mean? I probably should have. My influence came on, um, I guess, my experience because I traveled across the world and shit like that before I even went to college. And so, well, but once I started reading books, you guys see the results. And so they put the valuable things on the higher shelves so they out of reach for most people. If you want the things on the higher shelves, stand on the books you read. Right? There's plenty of, there's thousands, there's millions of books um, and, and, and audio books available at our fingertips for free, you guys. You know what I mean? There's book sales like crazy, man. I got like fucking 800 books for like eight bucks one time. Damn. Ain't that crazy? 800 books for eight bucks. Wow. Wow. Because I need a huge library in my castle, you know, once we build this castle, so I'm never going to stop. But, yeah, you guys, I don't know how Borders Bookstore went out of business. People don't read books anymore. What do people do? What do people do if they're not reading books? They're not growing. They're not learning. They're not getting the new ideas. Right? I don't want that, you, that to be you. I don't want that to be you. It used to be me, my life. It was still fun, but I wasn't really getting anywhere. Now, it's super mega ultra fun, and I'm going straight to the top, and I ain't never coming down. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. So this five-minute video is King Leon X signing out. Peace.